This is our processing for text. We'll do processing for images for images in a bit. And this is do math. So now let's run this. And we'll um, get our numbers, one and one. And our addition value is two from one plus one. So as you can see, we can um, send and receive different types of um, headers. And what's the word I'm looking for? Um, we can handle multiple types of functions and multiple types of commands, so to speak. Well, we did process text. We did do math. Now, time to show you guys our custom writer that we created, our image writer and reader. So, well, we can't really see that with the console. So now let's just add a form. You can just call it form one, doesn't really matter. Okay, now head over to program and we can get rid of all this. We don't really need it. And now let's create our um, form application dot enable visual styles application dot set compatible text rendering default false and application dot run new form one okay now let's set to form one and let's add a button let's add a couple of buttons actually we'll just redo the same thing over here And for our image, So now that we have that, let's uh, make our let's go to our send text code, our send math calc code, and our send image code. So again, it will basically be the same thing. And also, let's add a text box for send text. And we'll just do multiplication this time for send math calculation. Now for our text, pw equals new payload writer. pw dot write cast to u short headers dot text and pw dot write text box one dot text byte data equals pw dot get bytes and now we will also create a process method which would um, presumably be on the other side void process byte data and of course This is where we would insert our sending code, and we will just call process, and we will add our code that we have before in here. And for do math, packet writer, pw do the packet writer, pw dot write, cast to you short, headers dot do math, pw dot write, cast to you short, headers dot math headers dot multiplication and byte data equals 
pw.getbytes and our sim code and process data. Now for sending an image, we will open up a um, image from our computer using open file dialog o equals new open file dialog if o dot show dialog equals valid result dot ok then byte image actually image image equals image dot from file o dot file name you could also just do image dot um, file dot read all bytes with the file name but this is just to show that you can create custom uh, writers and readers with the packet with your packet classes so now let's call packet writer pw equals new packet writer pw dot write cast to you short headers dot image and pw dot write image data equals pw dot get bytes and send process data now we will create our packet reader as usual pw.read uint16 switch header case headers dot umap break case headers dot image break in case headers dot text And I forgot something in multiplication. We forgot our numbers. So let's just write actually, let's create two text boxes, which will have our numbers that we will send. Let's name it num1. And txt num2. So pw.write int.parse txt num1.txt pw.write int.parse txt num2.txt and that's all we need to change from this. We need to add. Now let's head out and do math. Since we're only going to use um, multiplication, we don't need to have the rest there. So, math header, math header equals cast to math header pr dot read u int 16. Switch math header case math header dot multiplication. Int num1 equals pr dot read and 32 int num2 equals pr dot read and 32 int val equals num1 times num2 message box dot show string dot format this is also what the console does so it'll be same thing our value is from times our, sec our third argument. So it'll be value num1 and num2. Now for the image, this is where read image will come in. Image, image equals pr dot read image. Picture box one dot image equals image. And that's it. That's all there is to it for an image. And text, well, you know, it'll be the same thing as before. Text.